Actually started without you guys. I don't have one of those potato mashers, which is what I really should have. Pretty girl here and Auntie have to go to church, and there's a store on the way home from dropping them off that I can stop at and get one of those mashers. All right, we uh, went to the store. I picked up a bunch of different things, and I think I have a system designed to take care of this honey. Uh, we're gonna use the solar oven to filter the wax and any honey that's trapped in with the wax, we're gonna filter that stuff out too. Using the solar oven's better than the microwave, which is what I've seen a lot of people do. We've got multiple strainers and filters and I, I think the system in my head, the system I have in my head should work pretty well. Um, I'll explain it to you guys when we get home. What I'm going to do is go through and show you kind of what I have figured out so far and uh, show you my thoughts. I've got, I've got a few ideas and I've got a few I'm not too sure about things. Since this is my first time processing honey this way, uh, it's my first time processing honey ever, where I've done a lot of research on it. I've seen how a lot of people do it. The problem is that the stuff that I need, we just don't have. They don't have the equipment. I, I have not been able to find to buy the equipment I need. So because of that, we're kind of playing with it and we're making it, we're kind of making it up as we go. We're gonna start backwards. This is set up this is what I have set up to put the capping, all the wax in. What I'm gonna do is mash out as much honey as I can, sift it, and then put all the wax in here. I'm going to put this strainer, which is the finest strainer I've got. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna put the strainer in. I'm gonna put a paper towel in this and I'm gonna put all the wax that I pull out in here. Then I'm gonna punch a hole in the side so everything that drips through drips down into this lower pin. And this whole system is gonna go in the solar oven. So what'll happen is the honey that's in here and the wax will melt and flow through the paper towel that's in here, through this filter, drip into this pan, It'll drip into this pan here, and then drip down into this pan, the lower pan. The honey will sit at the bottom, the wax will sit on the surface, and all the other crap will stay in the paper towel. I hear you, little man. I do. I hear you. Not quite ready. Almost, though. Yeah. All right, what we have here, this is a five gallon food grade bucket, cleaned out, ready to go. Here's the bucket that has all the honey in it. We crushed it as much as I could earlier. I'm gonna get at it with this, which is like a, ma a potato masher. Then we're going to put these on top of this, or put these right on top of here. I've got three of these and what I'm going to do is put them on and then mash the honey through. It'll flow through one, then through a second one, then through a third one. Eventually this is going to get caked with wax and that's when we're going to take it and set it here like so. So the wax that's been caked in this will melt through and go through these. Here's the honey. I mashed it as much as I could. Now I'm going to take this one and we're going to mash it some more. 
and then we're going to start putting it in the strainers. Now, unfortunately, this is only the first straining. We're going to have to strain this one more. We're going to have to run it through another filter. But what we've done is we scoop the honey out of this bucket. The honey's in here. Scoop it out into this. Now, I did have a problem. This doesn't fit right. So what will happen is it will fall in. So I was having a real problem with it falling into that. So I had to tie it on. If you look, we tied it on. Now it's fine. What I do is I'm loaded it up. And then we're just crushing it to drain as much honey as we can out of here. Then what we've done is after it's strained, after it strains through this, we took the top one, we have three of these strainers, took the top one off, put it in here, and it's just starting to heat up. It's 175 degrees, and it's not really positioned properly. I should turn it more, in fact. There. Now it's going to get more sun. It'll heat up quicker. But the honey is going to flow. The wax and the honey will both melt and flow through. Once this is melted out, we'll switch. I'll pull this one out and I'll take that strainer. I'll put that strainer in the oven and we'll melt out the next batch. Right. Once we're done here, I'm going to process the wax. I'll probably process the wax tomorrow. As you can tell, the clouds have rolled in and we're just not getting enough heat. I, I've been playing with this a little bit and this strainer, the plastic for this strainer just is not meant to be in the heat because look at how warped and beat up it is. So I need to think of another, What I'm working on something to put in the oven. So we're going to have something put in the oven that will take care of this hopefully. I kind of wish this solar oven was bigger. I think if it was bigger we'd be in better shape. This is the same type strainer but what I need to do is to get, I need to clean this mess and separate the, the wax from the honey. Now what I was doing is that I had this set up. So the thought was put the strainer here, it would flow down into here. And it worked great in the solar oven until the clouds rolled out. Plus, once you put enough weight on this, it just did this. We, we ended up with this mess. So, instead of that, I'm going to use this. And here's the plan. This seems to fit. This seems to fit just right. So what I'm going to do is punch holes in this. Punch a bunch of holes in this. Primarily right here in the center. I'm going to line this with paper towels several paper towels, a bunch of them, and then we're going to put the wax in here and put it in the oven at a very low temperature, but just enough to get it so everything melts. Now I'll straighten this up, line the whole thing with paper towels, a good thick layer, I don't know, four or five layers of paper towels, and then we're going to put the wax on here, the cappings and all the remainder of goop, put it in here, what will happen is the paper towels will act like a filter, filter out the stuff as it melts. The wax and the honey will flow through the paper towels. All the other stuff, the propolis, any debris, any dirt, any gook, any of that stuff will be captured by the paper towels. And then we can just pull that up and throw it away. Right. Now this kind of looks like some kind of grotesque cake. I scooped out all the wax and goop from this which was in the solar oven. Plus, from this, which had all the stuff that we sifted out, here's all of it. Now we're going to put this in the oven, and we're just going to let it do its thing. Here's how we've got this set up. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. This is what I have. I have this five-gallon bucket with the honey in it. I have tied this strainer in to give me something to hold on to. Then I've got these two. These two are very, very, very fine filters. Now I'm going to lay the bucket down and prop it up at an angle so the honey will just drain out into here 
go through this into the this bucket. All these buckets have been thoroughly cleaned and we're ready to go. We're gonna set this up and see how it goes. All right, now we're just gonna let this drain. We're gonna come back and check on it in an hour or so. Mr. Mello is up from his nap, which means I cannot leave this like this all night. So I'm gonna take this Dutch spatch and just try and scrape out as much as I can. Here's our honey. It's been through multiple filter sips. I have one final filter right here into the funnel into the bottle this is just an old ketchup bottle we washed it out real good i got his all the water out this had to dry one very critical thing when processing honey do not get water in it the water content in honey is perfect as long as the water stays as it was capped by the bees it will last forever literally forever it will never go bad however you get water in it it'll start to ferment all I do, it's kind of hard to show, I ladle it into this and fill it in here. We have our first jar right here. Now it's a little cloudy, but that cloudiness is air from being pushed through all those strings. Okay, here we are, final tally. This is a 64 ounce ketchup bottle. Filled that completely. A couple other smaller bottles and these too. So considering that there was no real plan on having all this honey, it's not a bad little haul. This time of year we should be able to get a full batch of honey in another four maybe six weeks. Not a bad little tally though.